Hi and welcome to Globecom 2016. Today I'm here to show you our 60 gigahertz millimeter wave demo. This system is using the NI millimeter wave transceiver baseband and we've integrated it with a 60 gigahertz Y gig RFIC. As you can see here in the PXI chassis, we have our baseband hardware connected up to this RFIC that has an integrated phased array antenna. The phased array antenna has 12 elements for transmit and another 12 elements for receive. We have one half of the board here, so we have our receiver here and our transmitter is on the other side of the booth. Since this is 60 gigahertz, we're not able to transmit very far with the power levels that we have, but you can see here that we are able to get a constellation through. One of the things that's very exciting about millimeter wave technology is the ability to add on phased array antennas and start doing beam tracking and beam steering. So today what we have implemented here is actually the ability to take our, our beam on the RX side and change the azimuth beam. So if you look here, you can see our constellation plot and our total throughput. We're getting a little over three and a half gigabits per second. But if I go through and I can actually change my beam, you can see we've now lost the constellation and our system throughput is close to zero. And I can slowly adjust the beam back to get a much cleaner signal. Another thing that's important about this system is considering the performance of RFICs. If you look at some of our other millimeter wave demos, you'll notice we have fantastic constellation diagrams because we're using test grade instrumentation to do all of our transmissions over the air. But when you start compressing the size of the electronics into an RFIC, you have to deal with issues such as phase noise. So in order to compensate for that, we've actually implemented some algorithms on our FPGA. So if you just look at the native phase noise performance of this chip, you'll notice that it's not great. So by taking advantage of a system where we have a known good algorithm that we could verify with our instrument grade uh, RF electronics, then we're able to take that RFIC and input it into the system and just add on the phase noise when we're already confident that our algorithm is working the way that it's supposed to. This is just one example of a way that you could integrate a third party RF component into the NI millimeter wave transceiver system. Thanks for joining me and for any questions, check out ni.com slash SDR.